tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And Captain Star and his tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. The 1920s. Big City Port was the biggest harbor in the world. It was a time of change and great opportunity. Nobody knew it better than the hard-working tugs, whose strength and big hearts made them popular with everybody from tramp steamers to ocean liners. Important jobs in the port often kept them working night and day. Captain Star had a fleet of six tugs at this time. Three harbor tugs. OJ, Warrior, and Big Mac, A railroad tug, Top Hat, One Little Switcher, Ten Cents, and Hercules, the ocean going tug. One morning, Captain Star had some important and exciting news for his tugs. Good morning, Starfleet, he boomed through his megaphone. I'm bringing in a new tug from Mutt River to help out. He'll work with you, Ten Cents. Yes, sir. What's his name? Asked Ten Cents. Sunshine. Now, after a lot of hard bargaining, Captain Stark continued, I've managed to land a contract to tow one of the biggest liners around, the Duchess. All the tugs blew their whistles in excitement. We'll dock her this afternoon, but first, we've got to prove ourselves. Captain Star's biggest rival in those days was Captain Zero. He had a fleet of Z-Stacks, who were known for using devious deeds to get ahead of their competitors. Now listen to me and listen good, the captain boomed. The Starfleet are getting the Ocean Liner contract, and I want the contract and you're gonna get it for me. His tugs agreed with his order and set to work. Big City Port was a busy place. For someone who didn't know the port, it can be confusing. Sorry, I was looking for Ten Cents, sir, said the tug. That's all right, I'm Ten Cents. I'm Sunshine, sir, cried Sunshine nervously. We're docking in Ocean Liner this afternoon, and I want to get my work done early so we can watch, said Ten Cents. Sure thing, Ten Cents. Zoran and Zack, two of Captain Zero's tugs, sailed by Izzy Gomez, the Mexican tramp steamer. Hey, you guys, I need a tow, said Izzy. You don't accept bananas as payment, replied Zack before chuckling. Oh, are you two towing in the Duchess or something? What do you know about the Duchess? snapped Zoran. What I know is that I wait around for nobody to tow me. The Duchess comes in this morning and suddenly everybody's too busy, replied Izzy. Looks like we've got a problem, Zack. We gotta tell the captain about this. The Duchess had come to port early, but the stars didn't know this. It was an opportunity for Captain Zero to win the contract. Listen, you two. Hercules is up the coast and out of the way. Big Neck is now the strongest star left, said Zoran to Zip and Zug. If we get rid of him, we'll get the liner contract. Yeah, how do we do that? asked Zip. His route runs close to the mud banks. So you stuff him onto one, snapped Zoran. Big Mac had no idea the z stacks were laying a trap for him. Warrior saw Izzy waiting in the estuary. Hey, warrior, old buddy, I need a tow. Okay, I need to make this fast. I need to get ship shape for the Duchess, replied Warrior. But my friend, the Duchess, he already here. What? She can't be. See, I heard her already, said Izzy. I gotta tell the others. I'll tell you later, Izzy, exclaimed Warrior as he set off, leaving Izzy very cross. Warrior told the other tugs about the Duchess's early arrival. Ten Cents and Sunshine returned. 
OJ told them to find Big Mac, while the other tugs tried to dock the Duchess without him. Ten Cents and Sunshine found Big Mac on the mud bank. What happened here, Big Mac? exclaimed Ten Cents. Zoop and Zog shoved me on here. Then they left, he replied. Quick, you two need to go help. OJ knows what to do. You need to show the Duchess what the Star Fleet's made of. Feeling encouraged, Ten Cents and Sunshine went back to the Duchess. They were both excited and proud. Switchers never worked on liners, but Zorin was waiting for another chance to sabotage them. He's back, Sunshine, ordered OJ. Sunshine obliged, and when Zorin thought no one was looking, he moved in hard on Sunshine and pushed him into the rudder of the big liner, causing it to go out of control. Zorin came in smiling. I've got it, OJ, he exclaimed. The stars had to accept help from the Z-Stacks. To the Duchess, it appeared as if they came to the rescue. What happened? muttered Sunshine. He was ashamed and confused. He couldn't explain what had happened. So he slipped away while the Star Tugs were still busy. He couldn't have known Izzy had witnessed the whole incident. Later that night, the Duchess threw a big party celebrating her arrival in court. But all Sunshine wanted to do was get away from Big City back to his simple life up river. Ten Cents was getting to like Sunshine and was worried for him. No one's ever going to talk to me again, said Sunshine sadly as he departed. Sunshine may have ruined his big chance, but Ten Cents wasn't going to leave him on his own. Ten Cents couldn't see much due to the fog, so he started calling out Sunshine's name. Sunshine didn't reply. He thought Ten Cents was still upset with him after causing the accident. Sunshine! Sunshine! Maybe he's out there. Maybe I should go back home upriver. There's not much point in staying here anymore. Ten Cents continued his search, which brought him out to sea, where he encountered Izzy Gomez, who was still waiting for his tow. Ten Cents, about time too. Why are you promise me a tow? Shouted Izzy. I'm looking for Sunshine. I guess he's ashamed after causing the accident with the Duchess, said Ten Cents. Sunshine didn't cause the accident. Man, I saw it. Zorn pushed him, cried Izzy. I'm sure I saw it. As sure as I'm full of bananas and I need a tow. I must tell the others. And Ten Cents left a grumpy Izzy and told the other Star Tugs about who the real culprit was. If I was Sunshine, I would have tried to make it back home, said OJ. That's it. Of course that's it, cried Ten Cents. Up river. Come on, you guys. OJ stayed behind to tell Captain Star about what really happened and it was a good thing the other tug set out to look for Sunshine. He had hit rocks and was in danger of sinking. Just leave me here to sink. I've caused enough trouble, Sunshine said sadly. Well, we found out it wasn't your fault, so it's all right now. Top Hat apologized. Yeah, Izzy told me everything. Izzy, I completely forgot about him cried Warrior, and he set off to find Izzy. A few days later, Captain Star had a meeting with his tugs. Sunshine was digging the Lucky's yard, and little damage was done. Now if you'll look to port, I would like to welcome my new Star Tug to you. Number 7, Sunshine. Sunshine, I'm proud to have you working with us. All the tugs whistled and cheered for Sunshine's arrival, now with a new Star livery paint job. Welcome aboard, Sunshine, said Ten Cents. Thanks a lot, bud. Brand new colors, what do you think? Asked Sunshine cheerfully. 